recently hit a million users, and for many of them, this has been the perfect gift in the shelter in place. Talk to us about the activity that you've seen during quarantine. Well, first off, thank you for being a customer. We love that. Uh, we were able to put a smile on your face for Mother's Day, and, and it seems that um, our theory of every cameo becoming a commercial for the next one worked out perfectly because now you know, you're know you getting one for your godson, which is extremely exciting to hear. That's how our flywheel works. So appreciate your business and glad that we could put a smile on everybody's face. Um, look, we've been very fortunate to be one of the businesses uh, that has seen some pretty significant tailwinds from this, and it makes sense. Uh, every single athlete, actor, celebrity at their core is really, um, you know, a gig economy worker. Nobody calls them that ever, but, you know, the biggest athletes get paid per game. Uh, musicians get paid per show. Stand-up comedians get paid per act. Movie stars get paid per movie they do. So in a world where all production shut down, suddenly you have the whole creative class on earth, you know, all out of work at one time. And at Cameo, we're just really excited to be able to provide them meaningful income at a really tough time in their professional career, while also putting smiles on the face of their fans who really miss them because they can't watch them do what they love to do most, which is perform for them. Now, just some background, that video, that uh, that cameo that my husband got me for Mother's Day, I believe he had nothing at 8.30 in the morning, and Barb responded right away, and by 9.30, he had a great lift, and I just about died laughing. I just couldn't believe that she was speaking to me. Um, who is the most requested? What sort of trends are you seeing in terms of the kinds of celebrities and, and what they're asking for are popular? Yeah, uh, the thing that's very exciting is that we have such a diverse talent base. So at different points, um, you know, different people really are the hottest. So at the beginning of quarantine, uh, the ones that really exploded were the cast of the Tiger King. And it kind of made sense. Every single American was pretty much in the same position. They were sheltering in place. They were watching Netflix. And this viral show comes on. And the characters became memes in pop, pop culture. And suddenly there was a ton of demand. There was more demand from the cast of the Tiger King than people like Snoop Dogg or Charlie Sheen, who have been some of the most famous people on earth for a while. Um, you know, historically, the people who do best on Cameo are actually comedians pound for pound. So people love, uh, you know, being joked uh, the jokes that are provided or, or roasting their friends with the cameo, uh, they tend to do pretty well. In addition to Hall of Fame athletes and script actors from really iconic scripted television shows like The Soup Nazi or Kevin, uh, Brian Baumgartner, who played Kevin in The Office. Those are some of the all-time uh, cult favorites on cameo. You also just launched Cameo Live, where you can actually book a 10-minute Zoom call with your favorite celebrities. These are significantly more expensive, like $15,000 for 10 minutes with the actor Jeremy Piven. Um, you know, talk to us about how much revenue you're expecting this to drive. I understand you're take, you take basically a 25% cut. What's the outlook for, for bookings and revenue this year? So first off, uh, I think relevant to your crowd, I'm a former market maker myself. So I was an options trader for five years, uh, traded in the CVOE. And, and, you know, for me, pricing is something that's always been really top of mind. And anytime you launch a new product, especially in a new category like ours, you never know uh, where you should price anybody. So we've always given the talent the ability to price themselves because we never want them to say this isn't worth uh, their time. And for the core Cameo product, right, we now have 40,000 different people on it. We have price points so talent can come on and, and almost use comps like, uh, like in real estate where they can see people that are similar statue, maybe teammates of theirs in a sports team or uh, a similar caliber musician in another band that has a similar demographic fan base. But when you're starting something like Cameo Live, a completely new product, you know, you just try to throw a bunch of different things out there and see what happens. Uh, we're really excited about this product because it's something that our customers and fans and talent have literally been banging on the table for. While we've long believed in asynchronous versus synchronous, we think that Zoom is certainly having a moment. Uh, right now, I'm coming to you live on Zoom. Uh, there's over 300 million uh, monthly active users on Zoom now compared to about, what, 10 million right before. So as a stockholder in Zoom, I'm really excited uh, to see how ubiquitous <laughs> it's come. But we really felt that you know those tailwinds for the underlying technology enabled us to try something 
uh, like Zoom calls, which if we had rolled those out to talent six months ago, they probably would have looked at us like we had three heads. That said, this isn't that big of a difference from doing a live and booking experience, which almost everybody has figured at some point Cameo will do. So in many ways, this is the much more scalable version of that. And we've got really high hopes for, uh, okay. for this new product line.